going to come out here real quick just to show you what I want to try to do right now. I got a free futon frame and I've measured it roughly and I think if I cut off about oh I don't know six inches off of one end and then move that whole piece down so it tucks back into the little groove that's on before clamp it screw it gorilla glue it I'm gonna be able to put it side to side across the wheel wells and towards the back so before I remove all this stuff I'll show you what happened since the last time I videoed I've bought some wood that I am going to use on these last three holes one two three to make some supports for a loft that will go across the back that can be for storage sometimes and could also probably be a um, emergency bunk bed if I ever have three people in here and I'm thinking my grandson who is still just barely short enough to fit across. <laughs> also this van comes with pre-drilled holes which I think there's at least 30 or 40 of them in different places on the van. And I already did a little test one piece of wood, bought the bolts over at Ace Hardware, and just so you know, for a Nissan NV 2500, the bolt size is an 8 millimeter with a 1.25 thread backing up to what happened to the futon. <laughs> it got all torn apart. <laughs> Of course, after I cut off pieces of it, I decided that side to side I would feel just a little bit like a sardine. Couldn't even raise my arms over my head when I wanted to sleep. And also, since I'm doing temporary for the summer, what I have on the bottom here, those are those um, shelves you can get like at Office Max, Office Depot, whatever name they're going for. And usually there's a set of like four to six shelves and they just have those tubey legs you don't need any tools for them at all i already had these shelves and uh supposedly each shelf holds 250 pounds so i feel like that's a pretty good support base for what i'm now going to do with the futon which you can see is in two pieces uh is to make two separate benches one will probably be a little shorter than the other now that i've cut part of the bench is off. I have started the insulation. I was up all night pre-cutting this, um, it's called Ultra Touch. It's a radiant barrier. It has the foil on one side, very slim, with the denim on the other. Um, supposed to be better for sound deadening and um, mold resistant, flame resistant. And what I'm doing is I'm putting one layer against the van wall. And then I am taking the panels that came with the van and I'm putting another layer on the interior side of that. So that means that I will have foil facing foil with an air space in between and from what I read, that's how you get a radiant barrier. As far as what I used for tools today, um, I'll tell you right now, I was paranoid about the 3M high strength spray adhesive. <laughs> to the point where I wore a face mask and swim goggles and rubber gloves and my hoodie. <laughs> and that's why you don't see that on a video. <laughs> it looked pretty bad. But... Next stage now, out here in my front patio, as I've laid down um, the three middle panels, and I'm going to be doing those silver. And hopefully I'll be able to get those to dry and put them up at least. I'll have one third of the walls done. Just for the heck of it, I did order, did I already say this? I did order my new mattresses, which again on Facebook I put, it's a, a1 mattress here in Tucson 
He is custom measuring them to fit both sides. So it'll have a cutout in the back so I can still get to my jack and a cutout in the other corner where the electrical is so I can still reach that. And the mattresses are gonna be 27 by 72 by five inches thick. I did get something new for the van yesterday and I'm excited about it. So I wanted to share that. I still, as you see, have the temp bed frames for the beds. Uh, still plan to lower them. Uh, the last two weeks, uh, my grandson, who's 11, has been visiting me. And I feel it's really important to spend time with him because how much longer is a boy going to want to hang out with Nana? And he gets a kick out of my craziness and doing fun stuff. And we've slept in the van already a couple of times just in the driveway and over at Walmart. So uh, he's he, he likes my van. But let me show you what I got. Are you excited? <laughs> you know I am. Okay, let me back. Oh, okay, I better put something on my feet. Because I have Arizona gravel and it is not fun to walk on. Okay. And grab my phone camera. Look out. Look at what Marty got. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> A roll top desk. <laughs> is that not great or what? Sorry about the lighting. This is the latest piece that I bought to use in the van build. And it is a low dresser with four drawers. And again, I apologize for the light and the baby. <laughs> I actually worked on the van today. And what I did was start the floor process. In fact, I've almost got it done. Um, that window I just showed you, originally it had to be boarded one time because it was broken by vandals. And while I argued with the insurance company, it had to be boarded up for a month or two, and I still had the wood, which was three sheets of plywood that were four feet by six feet. And I managed to use only two to do the floor. I've got one big piece. I'll explain the artwork later. One big piece, four by six when you first come in, going a long way. Another piece that I cut over here and even notched so I can get to the tie downs. And I have one, two, three, four more pieces to fit into the small pocket areas on either side of the wheel wells. Oh my goodness, squeezing around the desk. I refuse to take out of here. So it looks like the only one I got right was this little filler board here. And yeah, I didn't make any rounded corners. But I still gotta notch it for the tie down there. Holy moly. And guess what? It ain't gonna be today. I'll tell you that, folks. Those girls are working hard. It's my first time ever using a circular saw. And no, I did not have any safety goggles. No, I didn't have any clamps. I just had a whole lot of holding it way over there and making sure I went in a straight line. But I did get all the pieces, 95% cut for the floor of my van and all the insulation because I still had some of this wonderful spray adhesive left. And to reward myself, because you've never seen me do this before, my daughter left one beer here a couple of weeks ago when she was here. We actually had a couple together. See, I don't even know how to pour it. That's pretty sad. <laughs> um, quick story, the plywood that I used for the floors, you'll see have some painting on them. I'm gonna put the pictures up. And the story behind that is, is about three or four years ago, we had some vandals um, go through my neighborhood. And when they got to my street in my house, they decided that that big, huge window that I have in my living room, which used to be a six foot by 12 foot single pane of glass that was put in there in the 50s. Uh, they came up and took one of their uh, skateboards and used it like a baseball bat and whacked the window. And all the boards were up on the window for a long time 
And the very next day after the window was broken, me and my grandson, Dante, um, who was probably about like eight or nine at the time, we went out there and we painted a mural to let those vandals know if they were gonna walk by my house and be snickering, that we we were okay and it was gonna be okay. And we painted the picture and we put a saying up there and you'll see it in a photo.